Now, when it comes to the Tsunami 2, our Tsunami 2 has two different braking systems built into the decoder. You have the independent brake, which as its name implies, are the brakes that are actually located on the locomotive by the wheels that will stop the locomotive independent of a train or by itself when it's switching or doing industrial work, things like that. You also have what's called the automatic, and the automatic brake ties into the train down the rest of the train and distributes that braking effort throughout the entire train, and that's the air hose that you see coupled between all the cars. Now, when the engineer wants to make a brake, the automatic part of this is he reduces the brake pressure in that line, and the brakes then will apply to the car. Part of the reason it's designed this way is, let's say, for example, down the line, one of the hose's brakes comes uncoupled or catches on something and tears. That air pressure line, if it's relying on positive air pressure to set the brakes, now there's no control of the brakes and those cars are basically not gonna be helping out in the braking effort. So the automatic brake relies on a reduction of pressure. Now Soundtrack Tsunami 2 is able to reproduce both. Now let's talk quickly about how we'll do it and then we'll show you a quick example of how it works. So F11 is the brake application. So when you press the F11, you're actually applying the brakes. Now. The independent and the automatic both have their own independent braking rate that you can determine with a CV. Now, to determine which brake plays, CV 112 is either on or off. Default is off, your locomotive is in independent brake mode, so when you hit the F11s, you're hearing the independent brake sound. Now, when you press the F12 on, on your throttle, now your decoder is going to transform and go into automatic train brake mode, and you're also going to hear the compressor start working to charge that train line. Now this compressor will run for about 30 seconds. In the real world, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to charge the train, depending on how long the train is. Now this way you get a better experience of what's actually happening. So once you tie into the train, your F12 is on, you start running. When you press the F11 now, you're actually going to hear the sounds of the automatic or the train brake. You're gonna hear the air reduction out of the locomotive. Now what's really cool is we have a product called Soundcar, and in the Soundcar decoder, you can actually set the brakes. So it works the same way, except of course, when you're tied into the train, if you hear the air reduction on your cab, you get to hear the squealing coming from the cars, which means that sound is being distributed throughout the train, which is a really cool effect. I encourage you to try it out. Now first off, let's get everything set. So first off, you wanna add a little bit of momentum because in the real world, trains don't start and stop on a dime. So we wanna set CV3 for our acceleration. We're gonna set it to a nominal rate of about 75. Now our deceleration rate in CV4, we're gonna to set to a value of 150. And this gives you some good response. It takes a little longer to come to a stop than it does to accelerate. And so you get a little bit better of an experience. Now we're gonna set our independent brake rate to a value of 178. And this represents a minus 50 to the deceleration rate in CV4. That way, you essentially have a braking rate now of 25 when you're using the independent brake. Now in CV118, we're gonna set the rate for the automatics, and we're gonna set that to a value of 75. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna add 75 to our braking rate, so that that way it takes a lot longer to bring our train to a stop. So that way you can see the difference between an independent locomotive and a fully loaded train. So now let's go ahead and take an example. We're gonna see how that runs and we're gonna show you how to put that into play.
Now, isn't that a really cool effect? It really adds some extra realism to our railroad operations.